Well, the news of the day certainly can shock you at times, though sometimes in a good way. In my Take a Break reports, for example, we've met some people with interesting hobbies, others with unusual abilities. And tonight, another story up that same alley about a man you might say is the fastest draw to the West. His name is Jim Mancuso, though he sometimes goes by Map Cuso because the Niskayuna man has the uncanny ability to draw a map of the United States to nearly perfect scale. No paper or pencil necessary, just some chalk and a large stretch of pavement. He doesn't even look at a map when he does it. So you just do it from memory? Do it from memory. And he does it fast. We did speed this up somewhat, but totally lapsed time, just 10 minutes. I start here in the, the New England area in the Northeast, and I just work my way across the West, pretty much the way the country was formed. Perhaps the obvious next question is why? This was the puzzle map that my parents bought me uh, sometime in my childhood, probably around 1967 or so. Jim loved that puzzle, used to take all the pieces out and trace them one by one until he didn't have to trace them anymore. Well, I wanted to see the whole U.S. I wanted to go to each state and bring back souvenirs from all the states. So drawing the map was one way that I could do that since my parents were not travelers. When Jim grew up, he wanted to share his love for geography and map making with his children. Until then, his maps had always been drawn on paper. But we thought, well, what if I draw it out in the street and we actually practice the geography out on the street and get the kids out and do that. So I did and started uh, drawing this on our city street. And then when we went to the beach in the summertime, I started tracing it in the sand and continuing the lesson on the sand just for the fun of it. Jim's youngest child is now 17, but he's still out there drawing his maps and teaching geography to young people. There's a state right here that starts with K. What is that? Yep, over there. Kentucky, huh? Yeah? It gets them outside the classroom. And of course, they're excited and motivated to be out here as well. Beth Montrello is a fifth grade teacher at Niskayuna's Glencliff Elementary School. She says the big map is a great way to make geography interactive. Do they come back to this map and play on it and look at it and talk about it? It's, that's one of the best parts of the program. They come back and until it rains, they are playing on it. Other kids that didn't see the presentation, they come back and, and play on it. Los Angeles, Hollywood. Upon request, Jim can do something about the whole rain thing and have his maps make a more lasting impression. I use road paint so that it's permanent, and I'll paint this on in white. Just the outlines of the states without the names, and that way the teachers can use it as a teaching tool to have the children come out and name the states. Speaking of naming the states, Jim's managed to do that in record time, too. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, USA, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. It's a very satisfying thing to, to draw the map of the U.S. to me. What was first, Alabama? I don't know. Jim does charge a fee for his school assemblies. If you want to learn more, you can check out the online version of the story in the Take a Break section of our website. And don't forget, if you've got a good news story for me, email me, jerry at cbs6albany.com.